Well, hello, YouTubers. We're gonna do a little update in here on my hydroponic setup, as you can tell if you've seen the previous video. That we expanded quite a bit, uh, and I'm not quite utilizing um, new section yet. Not not to the full potential, but I have some seedlings coming that already shoot. So <clears throat> we're gonna get there very soon. Uh, Few interesting things here. I get some parsley grown in there, and real close to it is a sweet pepper plant. And this, well, this will be either a right there, zucchini or yellow squash. I'm not quite sure. I should mark my seeds seeds a little bit better when I plant it. Um, these lettuces are the new crop, and they they should be eaten hopefully. This morning we can eat them. Uh, I'm trying to get a pineapple to shoot, and that's just the top part, the crown part. And we'll see what happens. Uh, that's a little uh, sweet tamarind tree that's growing there. Cabbages, they are a little slow coming, and I'm not quite sure why. And that one cabbage that was killed by the white fly. I'm kind of having a little problem with the white flies here. Um, we got a new uh, organic, well, somewhat organic pesticide. You're mixing um, soybean oil with uh, dishwashing detergent and put it in a spray bottle and hopefully that will, that will help. But it kind of is becoming more and more obvious to me that cabbages are not necessarily the best hydroponic plants. However, however, tomatoes Ooh, right there it's my baby I'm looking forward to eat some of these tomatoes right there and we got a lot of flowers still growing so I'm looking at this I'm, I'm kind of expecting at least 15 pounds of tomato coming up just this one single plant uh, this is the second plant and um, we have some pretty good fruits coming up there. And there I, I have another plant. But either this is the zucchini and the other one is the yellow squash. Or this is the yellow squash and the other one is the zucchini. We'll find out hopefully. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, again, uh, the white flies are quite a nuisance here. Um, but I still have a lot of flowers here on this tomato plant too. I probably could have organized it a little bit better where they would get uh, the, the one plant in the inside that, that would get a little more sun too but they seem to be okay and again this is just a pilot project so one thing that's kind of interesting I've been experimenting with uh, strawberries and so far I didn't have much success but this one plant this was an offshoot of a uh, plant that was in the dirt this one seems to like this place and I have my first little strawberry there it's not big but uh, I think I have a problem with the type of strawberry that but that's that's the seed that I got so you know what do you do that's all you can do and um, so one thing that I'm trying to do is that zucchini right there if that catches I mean if it, if it survives and it starts growing I build a little platform down there uh, filled it up with dirt like a little shelf and I'm gonna try to, to get it to run on that shelf and also uh, instead of this uh, inch and a half cups we're gonna try to use these, uh, these, these little little cups to see how they work so far the lettuce seems to be surviving in that one too and the one thing that I noticed is that the root development is much better in the, in the little cups. I guess the um, lettuce is really forced to uh, to grow more roots. So we'll see. It's still an ex experimenting phase, but we already had quite a few lettuce from here, and uh, I'm looking forward to the first tomatoes. That will be a nice, 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 nice addition to this. And right there, that's perfect. And then the upside on tomato. Whoa, would you look at that? 
that seems to be doing all right and i have another plant with a lot of flowers uh obviously those plants are not having such a good time as, as these guys here but they seem to be okay and that's that's an experimenting thing too and one thing about uh the upside on tomato I, I i understand a lot of a lot of guys tried it and, and they're not really succeeding uh, try to get a little more mature plant, you know, not necessarily a tiny little seedling and try to uh, place the roots up in the bucket uh, as far up high as you can because what happens when you water the plant, you'll wash the dirt out and, and then the plants die. I had a cucumber plant in the, the one in the middle and that's what happened. It was a very healthy cucumber plant and unfortunately I, it, by watering I, I washed the dirt out so the plant just died for a couple of days it seemed like it was gonna make it but then it didn't so so that's about all i'm hoping to show you the next uh, next time the aquaponic setups which is still not there but um that's that's the next project so we'll see what happens thanks for watching enjoy good luck hydroponic